good day and have a nice day to everyone. I'm just Reed Sabrana, the lector, taking the degree in Bachelor of Science, Marine Engineering, Section 1C. Today, we will talk and discuss about ship measurements and dimensions. Ngayon, mas lalo natin malagaman kung ano ba ang mga meron pa sa bakla. Simulan na natin pag-usapan ito. First one is funnel. Funnel releases of burn gases to the air from the main engine, auxiliary engine, boiler, and other machineries on board. Makikita naman natin sa picture na ang funnel ay nagbubuga ng usok that comes from different machineries on board. The next is airdrop. Airdrop, a vertical distance from the waterline to the highest part of a vessel. Magbibigay po ako ng halimbawa at magpapakita rin po ako mamaya ng picture. Ito. Isipin na lang po natin na ito po ay malaking uri ng barko. Ang airdrop daw po a vertical distance from the waterline to the highest part of the vessel. Ganyan po kung ilarawan ang airdrop natin. Sana po ay malinaw natin na upindahan at maayos. Ganyan po ang ilarawan ang airdrop. The next is freeboard deck. Freeboard deck, the upper mast part of the deck exposed from the weather and sea. Freeboard deck ay yung mas engaged sa different weather sa kalagitan ng dagat ito na rin siguro yung mararanasan din yung alon paghampas ng alon dito sa freeboard deck the next is mean drop mean drop is the vertical distance from the molded baseline from a midship to the actual waterline magbibigay ako ng halimbawa ngayon at magpapakita ng picture mamaya. So, isipin na nga lang yun ulit natin na ito ay isang malaking uri ng barko. Ay halimbawa na itong ruler na to ay magsisilbing tubig. Itong ruler na to ay magsisilbing tubig. At ito ay isang uri ng malaking barko. Isipin na lang natin yun. Sabi, um, um, molded baseline from a midship, midship to the actual waterline. Kumbaga, ang tinutukoy sa minda, simula dito sa molded baseline from a midship, ang matutukoy sa minda, simula dyan hanggang dito sa actual waterline. Ganon. Kumbaga, ang wind drop ay susukatin simula dito simula dito hanggang dito dito hanggang dito sa actual waterline. Ganon po. Sana po na hindihan natin. Ganito po ilarawan ang ating wind drop. The next is beam overall. Beam overall is the distance between the planes passing through the outer extremities of the ship. Ibigay po ulit ako ng halimbawa ngayon at magpapakita rin po ako ng picture ng mga. Ito po ulit. For example, this is a big kind of ship. Ang beam overall ay outer extremities of ship. Kumbaga, ang beam overall ay yung simula sa dulo ng lawak ng barko hanggang sa uling dulo ng lawak ng barko. Ang beam overall ay yun ang sumusukat sa kalakihan at kalawakan ng isang barko. The next is freeboard. Freeboard 
is the distance from waterline to upper edge of the deck plating. Magbibigay po ulit ako ng example. Ito. This ruler present as water and isipin na lang po natin na ito ay isang malaking uwi ng buko. Ang preferred po natin ay a distance from the water line to the upper edge of the plating. Kumbaga po, ang preferred natin ay susukat mula dito sa water line po na to tapos sa water line hanggang dito po sa gilid ng free board deck sa midship ito po ganyan po kung ilarawan yung free board so patang sa water line hanggang dito po sa gilid po ng free board deck sa midship tama po kung ganito po ang ating board the next is kill plate kill plate has found at the bottom part that runs from steam to stern of the ship ayun na yan eh, ang kill plate ay makikita sa pinaka ilalim at ito ay tumatakbo simula una hanggang likuran ng tarpo next is bridge wheel is the part of bridge that connected on both sides ang bridge wing ay yung karugtong ng bridge sa kanan parte at kaliwang parte next is steam steam is the foremost part of the ship's bow for example ulit na ito ay isang uri ng malaking bato ang steam ay yung kabuang unahan ng barko. Ganito kung ilarawan ang steam. The next is bulge. Bulge is a bulging bulge at the bow of a ship below the waterline. So ang bulge ay makikita sa unahang parte na ilalim ng barko na nakadubog sa tubig. The next is length overall. Length overall is the distance measured between the extreme points from forward to aft of the ship. Magbibigay ulit ako ng halimbawa. Ang length overall ay yung pinakahaba ng barko na kung saan ito ay nakutupat mula sa forward to aft of the ship. The next is length between perpendicular. It is the length between the fore side of the steam and the aft side of the radar post at the summer load line. Magbibigay ako ng halimbawa. Sipin na lang ulit natin to na ito ay isang uri ng malaking barko na kung saan ang length between perpendiculars ay sumusukat sa up perpendicular at forward perpendicular na kung saan ang up perpendicular are center of radar head and samantalang yung forward perpendicular are crossing the point of bow and level of the water so ito kung titignan ang perpendicular length between perpendicular ito kung ilarawan ang length between perpendicular the next is steering gear room. This room is found in the engine room that contains mechanism and controlling the direction of the ship. Itong room na to ay nagko-control ng steering equipment ng barko, kagaya ng radar at ng propeller. The next is bridge. It is found at the top portion of the superstructure in which the ship navigation and control of your Dito sa bridge, makikita ang pagkontrol sa barko. Makikita dito ang ship navigation, operation, and accommodation on board. The next is forecastle, for mast, foxel. The mast fitted at the bow part of the ship. Ang for mast ay parang isang tower na makikita 
malapit sa bow part of the ship. The next is aft perpendicular and forward perpendicular. Aft perpendicular measures at the aft end of the freeboard length L. Aft perpendicular measured in the dar shaft or center of the dar head. While forward perpendicular crossing point bow and level in waterline. The next is bollard. Bollard is a rectangular base is welded at the deck where two vertical bits are welded. Makikita natin sa picture na ang bollard ay built in sa deck na kung saan ito ay may major purposes. The next is propeller and radar. Propeller. A propeller is a revolving blade that moves the ship forward while the radar is a device used to direct the ship in any direction. Propeller and radar is twin and partner. Without propeller, ships didn't move. Kaya, ang propeller, siya ang nag-move forward ng barko. At ang radar naman, ay ang nag-change direction ng barko. The next is emergency generator room. It is a room located outside the main and auxiliary machinery space. The next is margin line. Margin line is a line drawn at least 76 mm below the upper surface of the bulkhead deck at side. The next is superstructure. It's a deck structure where accommodation and bridge are located. It is a deck structure on the freeboard deck, extending from side to side of the ship. The next is boot top. Boot top is the surface in the outside plating between light and load water line. A hull area that is mostly exposed to corrosion. The next is aftmost drop. The aft drop measures at the perpendicular of the stern. The next is foremost drop. The forward drop measures at the perpendicular of the bow. The next is baseline. It is a horizontal line is drawn along the top edge of the fell from the ship. The next is engine room. It is a machinery space on board is located at the up part of the ship. Ito ang pinakamalaking parte ng barko. Dahil dito, makikita ang iba't ibang uri ng mga makina ng barko. Next is Monkey Island. It is deck located at the top most part of the bridge. Ito ang pinakamalaki at malawak na deck. Kaya sa tinawag na Monkey Island, ito ay nasa pinakataas ng bridge. The next is main mast. It is the tallest mast usually located in the center line of the ship. The next is main drop. It is the difference between the aft and fore drop. Kung ang aft ay nasa unahan at ang fore ay nasa likod, ang main drop naman ay nasa gitna. Next is back deck. It is the uppermost deck of the ship. The next is camber. Camber is the transverse curvature of the deck from the center line down to the both sides of the ship. Kita naman natin sa picture yung kung saan paano inilalarawan ang camber. The next is bell. It is the intersection of bottom and side of the ship. Explain naman po natin yung port and starboard side of the ship. Ito. Yeah. Start. When I'm facing forward and stand here, 
in the right side of the ship. That's because starboard side, starboard side. And if I'm facing forward and I stand here in the left side of the ship, this is what we call the port side. So I am both of the Nagarba with port and starboard side. Next is the kel. It is a hollow passage within the double bottom along the center line of the vessel used for piping. Next is bench kel. It is a longitudinal plate that fitted at the turn of the bench where the drag dampens roll up the kit. The next is lift of ship. It's measured by two. The first one is module dip is measured at the module of length N from the top of the tail to the back side. The second is extreme deep is measured from the upper deck to the underside of the tail. The next is forecastle or foxel deck. It is a partial deck above the main deck at the forward part of the ship. The next is bulwark is an extension of the ship side above the level of the deck. I will show you the figure of ship's dimensions. The next is tonnage measurements. is normally divided into categories. First is displacement tonnage. Next is lightweight tonnage. This is example of lightweight tonnage. Next is dead weight tonnage. This is example of dead weight tonnage. Next is gross tonnage. This is example of gross tonnage. Last is net tonnage. This is example of net tonnage. The next that we will discuss is ship side markings. The first is load line. It is the marking on the ship side that relate to the loading condition of the ship term as the load line mark. And the last is load line mark. Yung makikita natin na bilog na may hati sa gitna, yun ay yung sim pimsol line na kung saan ang pimsol line ay yung maglilimit sa dala at karga ng barko upang maiwasan ang paglubog nito. At ang ibig sabihin naman ng simbol na nakikita natin sa picture, TF is tropical fresh water, F is fresh water T is tropical S is summer W is winter and WNA is with winter North Atlantic Sana po malinaw nating naintindihan ang ships, dimensions and measurements Thank you, God bless and keep safe for everyone